I've been private so much because I'm so terrified of what these magazines are going to say about me and like terrified that they're going to like, I don't know, <laughs> what are they going to do? They're not going to do anything. Um, it's just refreshing to be able to talk to you guys and to get back to, I don't know, just get back to talking to you guys. I miss you. I feel like I've been, I don't know. I just, I feel like I want to talk to you guys. It feels weird, but, um, I'm here. So ask me any questions, um, if you'd like. Let's try this. First time doing it. You guys are very sweet. You're saying a lot of nice things, but I really want some questions. Is anybody feeling anything? Does anybody want an advi any advice on anything? Or, I don't know, just real questions. It's very sweet that you want to say, like, nice things, and it makes my whole life, like, literally, I freak out. It's, like, the weirdest thing. But I just, I don't know. I just want to, you know, get some questions. How do you feel about... Malaysia, I love Malaysia very much. Indonesia, I am coming on tour, I am. I promise. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't understand some of these. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. Which project are you currently working on? Um, I am working on my new album. And I've been working on it for three years. Now I feel like I can finally talk to you guys. So this feels good. Um, my album, I just haven't, I haven't wanted to release my album. I, I don't feel like I need to release anything that isn't complete. And the reason why is because everything that I want to say in my album, the next album that comes out, it for me is literally defining me as a woman, if that makes sense. So... For for me, I feel like, personally, I'm not, I wasn't ready. And I'm sorry if that was, like, kind of a bummer. Like, people would be like, you didn't promote your song or something. And and that's just, like, I don't, I don't feel like that matters. I think it's more just if the song means something, if the song is personal, if the song is, it, it actually means something to you, then it doesn't need to be rushed, if that makes sense. So... I'm currently doing that. I feel more inspired than I've ever felt in my entire life, and it's blowing my mind. Um, being 26 is really weird. I like want to just tell you guys everything that's been going on because I'm excited. I just needed some, t you know, time to just get focused. And I'm sorry if I'm insane. Um, do you plan on touring again in the lap? Yeah, of course. I do. I just wasn't ready. Mentally, I wasn't capable of dealing with what it was. There's So there's this doctor. This is actually really interesting. There's this doctor called Dr. Amen, and he's phenomenal. He, he, he does these brain scans. Bear with me. It sounds weird. But he said something really fascinating to me. He said that we have these pleasure centers in our head, behind our head. And the number one thing that exhausts our pleasure centers is fame. And that's, I mean, obviously he's going to explain that much better because he's a genius at what he does. But um, it, was, it was interesting to me because it made me think what I feel right now, genuinely, what I feel right now with however many followers I have, yada, yada, it's the same kind of element of fame when you have 100 followers. Like when you're like sitting there and you have, you know, you're anxious because you're like looking at it and you want people to like you. So you're like, okay, let me just make sure I look good and blah, blah, blah. And it, and it actually is the same feeling I get when I post a picture. Like I'll post a picture and all of a sudden like people will like it. And then I'm like, cool. That's it for a second. How do you stay so true to yourself? Um... Like, I, I mean, staying true to, I don't know, staying true to myself is, is, I just don't, I can't buy into anything. Like, I don't, I don't, I just get up every single day and I'm so grateful to be alive and I'm so grateful to God that I'm even 
breathing after, you know, some of the stuff I've been through. Sorry, I'm reading this. This this looks so weird. See, this is why I don't do social media live stuff. Because it's like, these are going to be screenshotted and they're like going to post pictures of me like. And they're going to be like, oh my gosh, she's so ugly. <laughs> I I don't know. I think the the past year. First off, I got, I, I took a break from this for a bit. And then after I took a break from that, it was just more about really being diligent and I think people get scared of of doing I don't know maybe people get scared of of being vulnerable with other people um and I just try my hardest every day to show up for my friends I try every single day to show up for the people that matter to me every day for those who need me um that's just that's that's my life every day like what helps me is helping other people um, but also being really, really kind to myself because I really hated myself for so long. Like, I hated who I was. And it's so weird because no one else did. Well, a lot of other people did. That don't matter. But it was... I just didn't like who I was. Like, I just... I don't think I cared enough about who I was. And that was terrifying. <laughs> just seeing if any more questions are here. How am I now? I'm great. I'm great. I keep waking up every day, say my grateful, my grateful list, pray. You know. <laughs> A while ago, Courtney suggested by Rick Warren. It literally changed my life. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Disneyland Gomez is my like OG girl. But she said, a while ago, Courtney suggested What on Earth Am I Here For by Rick Warren. And it's literally changed my life. Tell her thank you for me if you get the chance. Heck, yeah, I'm going to tell Courtney thank you. She would be so happy to know that. How to deal with depression. So, oof. The, everyone's, maybe you've heard some of this stuff before, so I might be, you know, repeating things that I don't need to repeat for you, but if I could, it's like depression. <laughs> Sorry if I could. Depression was my life for five years straight. Depression and anxiety was the forefront of everything that I did in my life. Every single thing. And and I and and, and I would still do it. Like I would make myself, you know, have the courage to just keep going. Um and, and I think that's slowly but surely it just kind of happened. I'm sorry. This is really overwhelming me. <laughs> I'm so crazy. I also sound weird. I hate my voice. You know when you hate your own speaking voice? It's like... What do you think? Francis... Oh, wait, San Francisco. I love San Francisco. Sorry, I want to answer some good questions. Uh, I'm trying to find some. What makes you happy and be stronger right now? Jesus. And my friends. My friends are the most amazing people in the whole world. Like, if there's, if there's some, if there's any, I mean, friendship is so important. And my, my best friends have literally saved my life. They are such good people. Courtney is so cool. We call her CJB because she's just like awesome. Raquel is hysterical. Like everything she does, it's like beautiful, but like whimsical. And Ashley's the OG, Ashley Cook. She's awesome. She's very serious, you know. I, and by the way, all of you are like, who the hell are these people? But it's more just like 
people who know my friends, they're they're really good people. They're not in the industry at all. In fact, they loathe they loathe it sometimes. But they love like they love what I get to do with like my fans and for my fans. But all the other stuff, they're protective of me. Um, what's your advice to forget someone? <sighs> well. It, you you can't really just like forget, you know. You can't really just forget someone. It's more just you kind of have to figure out why you're still holding on to them. Like why are you like why do you want to forget them? Um, and then I think that's where you start. Ask yourself that question. Like why do you want to forget them? And did they hurt you? And if they did and it's not healthy for you to go back or to that thought, you know, it's, it, that's not good. As far as like losing someone, I mean, you never do, but sometimes forgetting can be a bad thing. You know, sometimes you might need to be reminded of something. So whatever that question meant, um, I hope I answered it. Yeah, that's true. Someone said, I think the real question is, why do you not want to forget them? I don't know if I, I don't know, but good job. Okay, I'm not quite sure what else to do. So I might be wrapping this up because this is literally the longest live ever. Somebody tell me what the longest live ever was. I'm sure, I'm sure that somebody beat it, but I feel pretty weird that I just spent all this time talking to a phone screen. <sighs> but it's just because I want to talk to you guys. How's Taylor? Taylor's awesome. I love her. She's amazing. I just talked to her today. She's literally like my big sister. I tell her everything. She's so smart. It freaks me out. Um, my middle name is Marie. <laughs> Hi, my, I'm Selena Marie. Literally, someone just asked me that, and I said it. <laughs> uh, I, okay. I, I, I think I'm pro I think I'm gonna end this because I don't know how to do this but don't I mean I'm gonna do this tomorrow um, and I'd love to just answer some more questions if you have any um, obviously I don't know if I am coming back on tomorrow so please don't hold me to that <laughs> but um, I'm here for you guys and I I don't care about the press. I don't care about what people are going to say. I just wanted to do this to talk to you guys. I just wanted to just be real with you because I don't feel like being on another magazine cover. I don't feel like being on another one ever again. It just, it doesn't matter. Everything that I want to say, I can say it right here with you guys. And I mean that. Like, I try to say things in an interview for an hour. I'm talking to someone and they're just, you know, talking to me. And I'm thinking it's really good. I'm like, yeah, you know, you're here. You're at the offices. You're experiencing things. And the next thing you know, it's, and it's not anyone's fault. People just want to, like, get people's attention. But I don't really understand why. Um, but I guess I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I love you guys very much. And I'm sorry. I look crazy. I don't care. I, like, had this cold sore. I had, like, a pimple. I don't care. Whatever. This is who I am. Fully. And completely. Bye, guys. <laughs> Such a psycho. I'm going to bed because I'm going to try to go to bed. But, um, yeah. This is where I'll be sleeping. So, 
Good night, guys. I love you very much. Take care.